Hey, good morning, Cassie. Well, they're actually not calling it the finish line. They're calling it the finish swine. I love that little play on words. It's so cute. But it is such a beautiful day for this marathon. You can see the sun is shining, a gorgeous day. The finishers are finishing right behind me now. Tons of runners coming in. We're actually with the first, second, and third place winners right now. We're going to go talk to the first place winner, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Turn to come over here. So you're from Cincinnati. You said this is your first year. You've completed the marathon, your first year at a half marathon. How does it feel to be the winner? Yeah. Correction. So I'm actually from Indiana, but I've gone to school here for about seven years. Uh, it feels really good to, to get the win. Uh, I know it's a tough course. This is my first official uh, half marathon competition. So, uh, you know, I have a great group of guys in uh, the Cincinnati Elite team that are always encouraging me, supporting me, and always hyping me up. So uh, I didn't know what to expect, but it feels good to get out there and perform, and, and I can't be mad about first place. You completed it in one hour and ten minutes. That's amazing. Was that a record for you, or what were you expecting? So this is my first and only half marathon competition, so that is a record for me, yeah. And how was the training process? Was it pretty challenging? How did you stay motivated? Yeah, yeah. So for those that for those that know me, they know that I put in a whole lot of work. I getting up early, running. I run 70, 80 miles a week, working around class and and uh, my class schedule and work schedule. And so they know that this means a whole lot to me. So to see the fruits of my hard work and to see that the, the discipline kind of paid off, you, you know, I can't be mad, and I, I'm, I'm ecstatic to get the win for yeah, sure. That's awesome, and it, of course, it's not an easy race. It's pretty hilly out there. Yeah. Was that challenging? Oh yeah, no, that was that was crazy. It is refreshing. Uh, once you get to about 10 miles, it's all downhill. So I knew that once I got to that 10 mile mark, that I was going to be cruising to the finish. To be honest, so all I knew is I had to get to 10, and once I got to 10, then then that was it. And people who are in the same boat as you, maybe they've never done a half marathon before, but maybe want to next yeah. year, what would you say to them to encourage them? I would say go out and do it. I think that having a competition in mind is a great way to stay motivated and get out there and be active. Uh, I find that, that that's why I enter races. I love competition, and it, it gets me up every day yeah. to go ahead and get out there and run. So well, I, congratulations. I would tell everybody to go ahead yeah. and do it. Yeah. Awesome job, Jonathan. So Congrats. Much. Stay with us. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll be talking to even more finishers. For now, back to you, Cassie. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.